For excellence in business, the Gleaner Company honors the Jamaica Chamber of Commerce. Our greatest effort has been in lobbying the government for what we determine to be a more business-friendly environment. For too long, we feel that uh, successive governments have regarded the private sector as sort of homogeneously almost operating below the radar and wanting to avoid obligations, treating us almost as if the majority of those operating in the private sector were in fact doing so illegally. And therefore, the administration which is put in place, rather than facilitating, is really put in place to catch people. And I've been consistent in saying that what you really need to do is save some of the money that you pour into that administrative capacity. Free up the system, make it easier to get into and do business and pay taxes. And use the money that you save from reducing that administration to concentrate on detection and punishment for the few who give the private sector um, a bad name. Of course, you have the macroeconomic framework that needs to be attended to, but we know the challenges that are there. We're, we're not silly. We know the challenges that are there, but we feel that there are other things that the government could do to stimulate the economy, to um, empower micro, small, and medium enterprises, which is where you're going to get the biggest bang for your buck. Big business is important, but the statistics show the world over that you'll get your greatest economic drive and your greatest job creation when you stimulate and empower micro, small and medium enterprises. So that's where our effort has been. But internally, we have also directed our efforts at um, educating our membership on matters, for example, of trade. And we have also, of course, continued to concentrate on our inner city program because we don't um, believe in not being corporate good um, corporate citizens, good corporate citizens. And so we lead by example, and our members are aboard. We have a very vibrant inner city program run by our civic affairs uh, committee. And um, we have our grand charity ball coming up on the 6th of November, Hurricane Thomas uh, permitting. And that is where we get the majority of the funds that are required to do our inner city program. So we are active on many fronts. I think what was different is that the offense of uh, what is now being called Dudus Gate and the whole um, Manatsfelp um, scandal was that something so obviously wrong was being done, was being defended sometimes quite arrogantly so. And I think, frankly speaking, the society on a whole had simply had enough. The JCC may have been first out of the blocks for the private sector, and we like to think that we set an example for the um, private sector. But I give full commendation, actually, to the church and civil society, because they were first out of the blocks and set the tone for the discussion which was to, to, to follow. And what was that discussion? I think the discussion basically was that we deserve better and that the link between um, crime and politics, the intrusion of that link into government, which I think was fairly obvious, the whole issue of accountability to those whom you govern, the issue of transparency and clarity of that transparency, and the issue of governance generally, people not being judge and jury in their own causes, were issues which squarely faced us and which we felt had to be addressed. I was fond of saying during that period and even before to my members, if we act on principle, we can hardly go wrong. And therefore, we tried not to focus on the personalities involved or the parties involved or the party involved. We tried to focus on what was the defining principle which we had to look at to see whether it was being breached or upheld and to guide our utterances accordingly. This has been a 2010 Gleaner Honor Awards presentation.